Hello guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to create portfolio for Canva Creator. So let's get started. First, let's head over to Canva. Now click on the search bar and search for portfolio. Now here, you'll have a bunch of templates to choose from. Mostly, the good ones require Canva Pro to use, but there's still some good ones that can be used for free. As you can see, there's plenty of options, but since I don't have Canva Pro, I'm just going to pick something that's free. So, I think I'll just pick this one right here. So let's click on that, then click Customize this template. Alright, now that we're here, we can start customizing our template. So first off, I'm going to change this title right here. I'll just put it as example for now, since this is just an example after all. Uh, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of this font, so let's go ahead and change it. Let's see, what should I use? I should try this one right here. Okay, no, that looks very basic. Let's find something else, maybe this one. Oh, that looks much better. So, that's good, so let's go ahead and change the name now. I'm just going to use an example name, so let's see here, maybe Jerry? Yeah, I'll just put Jerry. Let's put a space, and as for the surname, I, I really have no idea what I should put there, so I think I'll just leave that for now. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Jerry Wilson sounds like a good name. Anyway, now let's move on to the other parts in our template. We can change these stickers here, or pictures as you can see. So let's head over to Elements, because I want to add something. And let's search for it, I'm just going to search up Hand. And here are our options, and oh, forgot, there we go. So let's take a look here. And there's plenty to use, but they're not really that good. The ones that are actually good, you need Canva Pro to use, but you know, we don't have that right now, so we just have to improvise. I'll just use maybe this one right here, it looks good I guess. Oh yeah, this looks fine, so let me go ahead and move it, you know, like, um, so it looks like it's pinching the this part right here. Let me just align it properly so it looks good at least. And I think that looks good. Yeah, okay, no, it's not that good, but whatever. Let's go back here now. Actually, no, I think that's enough for the first part. So now, let's say you're done. Let's go ahead and add another page. And we can go back to design and add another template. And this is our portfolio, by the way, so we're gonna need more than one page. But I mean, that's up to you, I guess. Anyway, I'm just looking for another template here that I can use. Oh, this one looks good. Yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and edit this portfolio thing right here. Uh, what should I put? Because the first page was basically my intro, so now I need to show my works, maybe. Yeah, whatever. Let's just put that. This font actually looks pretty good. Anyway, let's change the name down here too, obviously. We'll put our example name, Jerry Wilson. And then let's start editing the other parts of the template. Although there's not really much to edit here, I think this is good. So let's head back to Elements, and then let's find another one that we can use for this part or page. Let's see. Let's go with Heart. Um, we don't really have much options here. Oh, wait, I'm not in the photos. Okay, never mind. These are, yeah, these are not that. Good. I mean, these are pretty much photos, right? So, can't really put that, but 
There's some here, I guess. Let's try this one. Yeah, let's just use this one. I don't really have a choice anyway. By the way, you can change the position of your elements, like right here at the top. You can click on that and then you can change the position to it. Let's say you want to put it forward. So now it's at the front of everything on this page, even the text. So if we send it backward, it'll be behind the text, then behind other stuff, and now it's all the way to the back. Okay, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's put it back to the front and then move it backward a little bit. Okay, this is not really working. I am moving the wrong things. Okay, and there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Now let's move it around. Maybe move this around because it can't really be seen. Maybe put it at the bottom. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll put that there temporarily. Let's just see how this goes. Yeah, I'm not like in the middle, so let's just put it up here. Oh, wait, I should have done this in the first place. I mean, that looks pretty good. Well, I mean, it's good enough. Yeah, I think that's it for this page. So let's go ahead and create another page. And look for another template. So we already have our introduction page. Then our works page so now i think we need one with our description or something i think i'll use uh wait let me go back oh yeah this one so as you can see here we can write our description just what i'm looking for now let me just check something real quick okay all right first let's change the title we don't want that to say thank you So let's replace this with about me. There we go. And oops, that is too big. Let's make it smaller. No, 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 no. Let the size. Wait, wait. It's right here. Okay, that looks good. Let's move it down. All right, that should be fine. So now let's get on with this part. Let's change the name, obviously, to uh let's just put client all right now moving on to the description so um i don't really have time to write the whole entire description right now because you know this is just an example i'm not actually gonna write the description so you know let's just write something short just think of it as an actual description let's just put blah 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 um these are my works, something like that. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's change this down here now. Your best friend. Uh, yeah, we're gonna change that to regards. And then our name at the bottom. Alright, gotta make sure to put the comma as well. And then our name here, Jerry Wilson. And that's pretty much it. So when you're done, what you want to do is click share at the top right corner. Then download. Now make sure to set the file type to PDF standard. Then just hit download. Now let's just wait for it to finish downloading and once it's done, it'll automatically redirect you to a new tab where it'll show you your work or your finished design. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel.